guys, what's up? Welcome back to my channel. My name is Sonali, and today I'm going to be showing you guys my favorite drugstore foundation. So let's get started. So I'm going to be honest with you guys. I usually don't go for drugstore foundations just because I like to get the high-end foundations and especially because I do beauty videos, I like to show you guys and test out different foundations that are in Sephora. But recently I went to the beach and got a really dark tan. So I was kind of forced to get a new foundation and I just got a new foundation like literally not even a month ago. I feel like um, I just purchased the Giorgio Armani Luminous Silk one. So I was just not in the mood to go to Sephora and spend like $50 on a foundation. So I went to the drugstore and I just went up and down the aisles kind of like searching on Pinterest like what are the best drugstore foundations while I was there. But then I remember one time I used the L'Oreal Pro Matte Foundation and I saw that they had a Pro Glow Foundation. So I picked that one up and this is my Holy Grail Drugstore Foundation. I have been using this for, let's see, more than like two weeks now and I am obsessed with this foundation. It gives you amazing coverage and I think the color really matches me right now. So that's always a plus. I wanted to do a quick little tutorial on this foundation because I'm just so impressed with it. And honestly, even if you get the Pro Matte or the Pro Glow, like these foundations are beautiful. So definitely go try them out. I think this foundation was like $14 or something like that, which I will say drugstore foundations are getting a little expensive or like more expensive than I remembered. I always think of drugstore being like under $10 per product, but let's get started and let's see how this applies. So for my primer today, I'm actually going to be using a moisturizer. I showed you guys this in my last video that I was trying out all new products. I'll definitely link that video down below because there's really cool products in that video. But yeah, today it's the same moisturizer. It is the Soap & Glory Speed Plump All Day Super Moisture Marble. I love this moisturizer because it actually keeps the moisture locked in. And that's what I personally need because I'm really dry skinned already. And also a little disclaimer, unfortunately I am on like a Retin-A prescription. It's supposed to like peel your face and create new layers so if in the foundation video like it looks like my face is peeling that's from the retin-a and not the foundation because the foundation is like amazing trust me i love it but yeah i'm just using this uh retin-a serum because i have like commendal acne i think that's what it's called um basically it's just like whiteheads that are really really deep into my skin so i got prescribed retin-a I'm gonna be honest, it kind of sucks because it burns my face so bad. Like even if I put the most gentle moisturizer on it, my face will like sting for like at least three minutes and it's torture. But I know that it's gonna make my skin like really good. So I'm trying to push through it. All right, let's go in with the foundation now. Again, this is the L'Oreal Infallible Pro Glow and I'm in the color Cream Cafe. I honestly think I like this foundation more than the Giorgio Armani Luminous Silk Finish um, because it's like really full coverage and it gives you a beautiful glow within kind of look. I feel like the Giorgio Armani was a little hyped up so I think it just didn't really meet my expectations um, especially for the price because it's like $64 or something but honestly this foundation is like so much better because it's a little bit more full coverage on the first layer like I know the Giorgio Armani one I had to pile up for like three layers or something like that because I just like love full coverage look next I'm just gonna go in and actually carve my eyebrows out um, and I usually do this with my concealer but my concealer is way too light right now so we're gonna take my foundation and see what it can do for me so I got my eyebrows done once while I was here in Atlanta but honestly, I don't really trust anyone else but my girl Layla back in Orlando. So I think I'm just going to have to wait until I get back there. <laughs> At least it's only like a month away or even less because my eyebrows are looking a little grown out. I've been trying to tweeze them, but sometimes tweezing just doesn't give you that feeling that you're like a new woman just like you got your eyebrows done. Like I love that feeling. If you guys are in the UCF area, I go to Venus Brows in Oviedo and I always get Layla to do my eyebrows. So now that my foundation is on, I'm just going to go in with Tarte Shape Tape Concealer and conceal right under my under eyes. And now you see what I mean by my concealer is a little light. When I blend it out, it looks okay. And I was going to get a darker shade when I rebought the product, 
but the darker shade was too dark and the lighter shade was too light. So I decided to just stick with the same color I have and that color is Tan Sands. I really wanna show you guys like the finish of this foundation. As you can see, it's super dewy, but I do need to set my under eyes and my eyelids and everything. So I'm gonna go ahead and do that. I didn't bake my face because I definitely wanted the finish to shine through. And as you can see, even after I set it a little bit, there's still like a really dewy, beautiful look. I'm gonna finish the rest of my makeup off camera, but if you guys want to learn about the products that I am using right now, then you can go check out that video that I'm gonna be linking down below. It's trying out a lot of new products and many of them I'm using today. So yeah, go check out that video. I've not put on highlight or setting spray. I don't think I'm gonna do highlight today just because I feel like this foundation is like a highlight in itself, like it's a glow within, like I said. But I am gonna do some setting spray. So today I am gonna opt for the Max Fix Plus. I've actually started to use the NYX Dewy Face Mist. I think that's what it's called. But since this video is about this foundation and it's already kind of dewy, I didn't want any product to kind of like overbear it or anything. So I'm just gonna go in with some normal setting spray. So I hope you guys enjoyed this video. I know on my last Get Ready With Me, a lot of people said they wanted me to continue doing beauty videos. So I'm definitely gonna try to do a beauty video every once in a while. I'll put a link to this foundation in the description down below, as well as the other products that I used in this video. I'll see y'all in my next video. Bye guys. <laughs>